We will be creating an 8x8 memory using ROM and quarters. We are first given the addresses and data that will need to be converted into a hex file to use in quarters. Our first step is to download our TT2 ROM file. I have already downloaded it and I have also extracted the file onto my desktop. Remember where you saved it because we will then need to call upon it. Our next step is to open an Excel file to then convert our table into binary. To do so, please make sure beforehand to format each cell to a text file. I have already gone ahead and converted my table into binary. Once you've completed it, save your file and make sure to save it as a text file. As I have done, make sure that you click text, save, After this step, you can then call upon the command prompt. I have saved all my items on the desktop, so I will call on the desktop, and then I will call on the tt2rom file, and also my text file. This will then create our hex file. Once completed, you can then open up Cordis. I've gone ahead and created my schematic. To create my schematic, you must first create your ROM. To do so, please open up your symbols, Altera, Meg functions, and storage. Scroll down all the way to LPM, and in LPM, you will then need to create your wizard. In your wizard, remember that the 8-bit words of memory needs to be changed to whatever amount you're doing. So we are doing eight, so we need 256 words. You could then go to next, next, and then our last step in this wizard is to insert our hex file. I have made my text. Once completed, you could then compile your schematic. Once compilation is completed, you can then create your waveform. To create our waveform, we get a web vector waveform file. Insert node, node finder, this for all the inputs. You need to put your count, you can put these in manually or do what I've done and click the counter. Make sure that all numbers that need to be there are there. Also, Make sure your clock is set up one nanosecond, and then compile, save, Once compilation is completed, you can then simulate your waveform. I myself like to go to the simulator tool, created functional netlist, once the netlist is finished, you can start your simulation. And then 
report and what you should get is what should be in the table.